Hey guys, welcome back to Clouds of Thought. Um, sorry about the camera. Today, um, my other computer fucked out on me, so bear with me here. Today we'll be looking at the Kanger Drip Box. Um, I just picked this up, and I picked it up at the Vape Law. Alright, let's break into the box. When you first open it, you got the Drip Box right there. Okay, let's take that out so you guys can get a closer look at that. There's a squeezy bottle and the fire button. And then see the battery vent holes on the bottom. This is where you put your battery in and this is magnetic. So let's see if I can get this for you guys. It just pops off. And then the juice holder just slides out like that. I already put some juice in here. Um, so you guys can see how this thing works so we don't have to get to get right into the view. There's already a fresh battery in it. It's five clicks to turn it on, five clicks to turn it off. And then in the box itself, you take this first layer out. You have the little card. You got the user manual. You have some tools and cotton. An extra little squeezy bottle. And then you have, which I think is nice, you have an extra coil set that they gave you. Um, it just twists off, so all you got to do is twist the old one off, put this one on if you guys want to switch it out, or you can rebuild it yourself. That's up to you. And then it comes with a charger cable. All right. So let's see. Five clicks, turn it on. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and let's give it a little squeeze. Let's take this off so you guys can see. A little squeeze. If you guys look, you can see the juice coming up like that. All right, put this back on and let's give it a vape. It does produce some nice vapor, um, not as much as I'm used to when I use my mutation with my RX. Here's a comparison. Compared to. So it's not as much. Um, I mean, it's, it's a pretty nice vape. This does go up to 60 watts. Um, this is removable. You guys can see you can take this off. And then you guys see right there, that's where the juice comes out of, that little hole right there. And you can put out what, one of your own atomizers on here. Um, I don't know. I don't really see why you would because you can't use the, you know, the squeezy feature. If you put one of yours on there because it's not built for it, but you can. And there's a charge port. It does have an external charge port, but I would suggest using the regular battery charger if you're going to charge 18650. Because um, I've noticed the charge ports don't really do as good of a job as the regular batteries. But all in all, it is a nice device. I mean, it's very lightweight compared to, you know, my clunker here. It is very nice, you know, lightweight. Um, all in all, I think it's. You know, it's pretty nice. I'm going to have to test it out, you know, and see how I feel about it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not in love with it. Uh, it's good for when you're driving because then you don't have to sit there and screw around, you know, try not to get juice on you or anything like that. Um, it's nice to have that little squeezy feature where you just, you know, push on the bottle and it fills it for you. Um, but as I said, I will have to take, you know, a closer look at this and give it you know a test run and see what i think um i did use it a little bit today and you know it's just not something that i can see myself vaping on all the time um like i use my rx or my cricket all the time um so i don't really see myself using this all the time um but it does go down to a 0.2 ohm so that's what i normally build down to is a 0.2 or my husband normally builds down to um but yeah, I mean, if you guys want to check it out, I'll post the link below on where you guys can get one. Um, they 
run between 30 and $45, depending on if you get it online or if you go to a vape shop or depending on where you get it. Um, I got it at the vape loft for $44.99. Um, that's their price there. So if you guys want to go check it out, then I, you know, I suggest you do. It is a good little device. As I said, I'm not a huge fan of it yet, but I will do a update for you. If you guys want me to just let me know and yeah, keep vaping on. One thing I did notice about this, though, every time I do take a pull on it, it does that little rattlesnake spit back, uh, which kind of annoys me a little bit, but that's just personal preference. I mean, that's just me. So, yeah, but I mean, nifty little device. All right, guys. Well, you know, tell me what you think. If you guys already had it or already tried it, um, and I'll post the link below. So everybody keep vaping on. Have a good night.